The anime community is never ending with its supply of BS to talk about. Um, I actually have a video in the works, a few actually, but one of them is about Denzel Curry. Uh, I really wanted to talk about his music and kind of uh, an overall video uh, analysis documentary on him. So let me know if y'all would be interested in that. Um, I want to know how many uh, of you out there also listen to Denzel Curry as well. But going back to the topic of this video, there's, look... I'm not perfect. I've made my mistakes. There's some of this stuff that I have done before. Um, and these videos aren't meant to be like, although they are going to come off as really condescending and like calling out. It's more so just me kind of ranting about things. Um, so if you find this entertaining, then go crazy. And really a lot of this stuff. And in fact, almost everything that happens in the anime community doesn't entirely infuriate me. It's more so like I pity it and it's just disappointing to see it. The first thing being probably the most insecure fandom that I've witnessed in, in the anime community, which says a lot. Um, now, listen, I, there's going to be people who are going to jump. Well, every fan base has bad people. Shut up. I know that. Like, no duh, right? But this fandom in particular, I don't ever really hear any, like talking about them but i think it's partially because they're not nearly as vocal and the anime is uh pretty well loved and renowned uh and i think isn't as controversial when talked about uh for example my hero and naruto i think spark much more heated uh talks if you want to call them that uh when their name is brought up but when it comes to full metal alchemist i've noticed there's like almost this uh, majority universal praise for it uh, although universal wouldn't be the best word, but for lack of vocabulary, I'm going to use it. So it's like when the majority of people are positive about the series, there's going to be a rare occasion where they kind of go crazy uh, until another series ranks higher than it number one on my anime list. Now, look, essentially what I'm trying to say is I haven't really seen the most vocal of, of the Full Metal Alchemist fan base, but I think that's because I haven't talked about it really up to this point. Whenever I do watch all of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, we'll see if that's the case. But they're like silent toxic. I don't know if that's really a thing. But but they are and there's a few vocal ones that I've seen but look going back to the my anime list thing Dog let it go if people have fruits basket above it Gintama above it. Let it go That's okay. I found out that I think berserk was ranked number one on my anime list a, a couple months ago And I was honestly surprised because in reality I was expecting the most popular series to be up there But I think when it comes to manga berserk is, is pretty well known uh, amongst the the manga community, right? But it's like this incapability to accept the fact that people have other series above it. Like, I've noticed this with the One Piece community as well. Even the Berserk community. It's like, dude, people can have other series above it. And that's okay, like, let it go. It's cool. Now, I would refer to this next example as a little bit of trash talk. But I have some people throw it out there with a bit of seriousness as well. And uh, it's it's more humorous to me than anything. So, for example, say someone's talking about Isayama or Attack on Titan. Uh, I think you already know where this is going. Attack on Titan is a very hot topic subject, right? You'll always have someone, and, and I'm just using Attack on Titan and Isayama as an example, but you could use this for any series. Someone will say blah, 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 and then Isayama's a bum. Okay, so let me get this straight. So this individual who wrote a multi-million dollar cultural icon in the medium of anime and manga that's arguably the most impactful of an entire decade a series that up to its ending a lot of people agreed was masterfully written and the ending is something of contentious debate um it's very controversial i think around half really loving it and the other half not being so fond of it to put it lightly which is all up to its a bit of subjective interpretation anyways but you have this person who's created this massive icon in the anime community millions upon millions sold and you're in your room on the verge of another mental breakdown but instead of going outside or doing anything that would be productive for your mental health you're tweeting about this author who doesn't even know you exist and you're doing this for free yeah i i think there you need to reevaluate who the bum in the situation is but like i just don't see the need to criticize a series by then making it personal with the author like imagine you took a test right and like you you flunked your algebra test and your math teacher goes that's why your parents are divorced like yeah what the what that had no correlation whatsoever now i do want to say this though i don't want anyone to misinterpret my point uh when it comes to the millions upon millions sold because 
All because something is popular or successful doesn't mean it's free from criticism. Although, again, criticism and hate are two completely different things. But I've noticed that as well. Like, for example, when people were talking about the record of Ragnarok anime and not being too happy about it, you had people being like, you know how hard it is to animate? Like, you have not- listen, I imagine animating a series is extremely difficult. I um, actually researched a little bit into the process after the last video that I did. And listen, there's a lot of work that goes into it. But all because you put a lot of effort into something doesn't mean it's free from the criticism of the public eye. Because when you put art out into the public, it is now an object for praise and for criticism. So, like, this isn't that. So, I've seen that thrown around as well. And no, 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 no. But since we are on this topic of criticism, um, there's one take that I hear over and over and over again and i'm not exaggerating by this like i i need some of y'all to just really quick put yourself in my shoes and this isn't me oh pity me not it's whatever it's not really that big of a deal but i probably over my time just the, i could say these last few months i've gotten over tens of thousands of different forms of feedback from YouTube comments, from tweets, from DMs, from Discord messages, from emails, I mean a lot. So I, I kind of have somewhat, I'd, I'd argue, of, of, a, of a pretty decent sample size uh, for my perspective on how often I see certain takes. Um, but this one, this one does actually grind my gears a little bit because it's, it's such a terrible argument and it could apply to any series that you do it with. And it is the, actually, I'm just gonna give it a, a, in form of examples so you hear how stupid this is. Okay, take Griffith out of Berserk and Berserk isn't as good. Or take the Golden Age out of Berserk and Berserk isn't as good. Take the Uchihas out of Naruto. Take the Espada out of Bleach. The Espada carried Bleach. Um, Take away Akaza from Demon Slayer. Take away the Shibuya Incident Arc from Jujutsu Kaisen, and it's not as good. I think you know what take I'm talking about. The take away this character or group of characters or arc from a series, and it's not as good. Okay, listen here, Thanos. You don't just snap things out of reality. Just as you're willing to criticize an author for the things that he wrote bad, you can't just take away what the author did well because in it's such a lazy and disingenuous way of trying to discredit a series and it's so obvious. Well, obvious to everyone except the moron who threw out that take. You can't just take away a character. For example, let me just take uh, an, uh, Sasuke, right? Say someone says, oh, take Sasuke out of the series and Naruto isn't as good. Let me tell you why that's such a dumb argument. Because as soon as you take away a pivotal character from a story, it is no longer the same story. Get that through your head. Sasuke is written as a character, as the deuteragonist of the series who's gonna drive a lot of the plot points forward and push Naruto further as a character. That is something Kishimoto wrote in mind. Stories and characters are meant to be connected. So if you take one away, then of course the story isn't going to be as good because then it's no longer going to be a story in the first place. You like it, and people will do this with arcs, entire arcs, which is even more baffling. I remember seeing like, oh, take away Shibuya Incident Arc and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen isn't good, like well, Cap, because the previous arc was pretty solid to Shibuya Incident, but whatever. Point is, is you can't just take away an arc that the author was leading up to. Of course, if you take it, like, it's just, oh my gosh. And it's just so painful by the fact that it's it's just as easily done with any series. Like, if I were to get into a talk with somebody and they were to go, oh, take away the Akatsuki from Naruto and Naruto isn't as good. Okay, Jimbo, uh, take the Espada away from Bleach and Bleach isn't as good. Take away, I don't know, the boats in One Piece and One Piece, like, it's just, it's such a stupid argument that goes nowhere. And it's just like, it's so stupid if you would just take five seconds to think about what you're just saying. Now look, if one wants to argue that certain side characters or even the protagonist of the story is lackluster, then talk about that specific character. Don't put this dumb made up scenario of taking away the best aspect of the series. Because then you take, like, it's not even the same, again, it's not the same story anymore. If you want to actually make a criticism towards a character, criticize that actual character. And this one might get me into some trouble, but I feel like it, it, it should just be, like, a, a bit of, like, self-awareness, or at least this fandom should have a little more self-awareness regarding this topic. Um, but, like, the My Hero fanbase, I've seen them complain a lot and a lot about, you know, the anime studio making, say, Uraraka a little bit skinnier and sexualizing minors by doing that, but yet mass-produce 18-plus fan art 
like, all because it's Deku or Bakugo doesn't now make it okay that you're sexualizing a minor. All because it's a dude doesn't mean it's now okay because it's your little, like, ship fantasy, alright? So if you're the type that, that's a little vocal about, like, an anime studio making a character a little skinnier and that bugs you, I best not see you liking a single piece of fan art like the ones I was just talking about. Also, some of you have, like, these personal vendettas against people because they don't like the series that you like or they don't like it as much as you do grow up and look if if someone watches or reads a series and afterwards you know they're not too fond of it that's cool but i've seen people hate on a series before even reading it because they see people give it a praise a lot i think that's just called being a contrarian like having the need to disagree with something just because that's the popular opinion and i've seen some people try to get clout off of this too like just saying like the most egregious stuff that they don't even believe themselves but they do it for like cheap likes and that's the stuff that i pity because it's like Dog, you were wasting time that you're never gonna have back again, you know? And and then, and then you always have the one moron who's like, well, why are you talking about it? It just gives them attention. All right, look, they're gonna get attention regardless. At least I get some money and entertainment out of it, okay? So you can shut up and put your little Boy Scout badge back on, all right? Man, this is just this is just therapy for me, but I think, I think I'm good now. I think I got everything that was on my mind off my mind. Um, I do have some videos coming up, though. Uh, again, the Denzel Curry one. Um, and if there are any other videos that you would like to see or video ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below because right now I have like a lot of ideas but very little motivation to do a lot of them. So, <laughs> so I'm at that crossroads at the moment. But thank you all so much for those that have like watched me um, over this time. Uh, it really means a lot and I'm always humbled and appreciative uh, of it. Uh, and if you are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all the good stuff. Hope you have a blessed rest of the day and peace.